All right, so I'm gonna be doing a review on the Battle Brick Customs M Wrap. Now I'm really excited about this. Um, I've had this for about a week now and been waiting to review, but it comes with a driver on the right and then this random OCP uniform figure that I bought when I was shopping for the M Wrap. Uh, this kit was a little bit brittle when I was putting it together, but I think overall. Uh, it has a really neat design, um, pretty good interior, uh, it definitely fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, I like that it doesn't use too many complicated techniques because uh, it'll, that makes it easier just for people like me who are too experienced with it, with Lego to build. Whoops, daisy. Um, I did lose the gun barrel when I was transporting it though, so I have to go find that. Um... I mean, the, I, I really appreciate just the amount of detail they put into it. I mean, with the grill at the front, the headlights, a little, like, what appears to be a tow cable, and at the back where they have a hatch, you know, you can have your, you know, just running out of it, deploying, it's just really just a fun, fun, uh, set overall uh i'm impressed with the quality um the instructions were a little bit i wasn't used to them uh, because they were I, I mean i appreciate the effort they put into it but they just didn't feel the highest quality because some of the steps were printed on the back of a page so i would flip a page and then it would look like it had just jumped to a random step at random and that wasn't the most pleasurable experience i gotta say um other than the instructions i don't have really any other gripes with it other than the uh fragility of this roof here i mean you saw when i was just trying to put it back on this piece came off and it comes off a lot um the turret build's a little flimsy as well with all of the um, like one stud connections it uses so that's not wonderful but as long as you know you're careful with what you're doing and you know uh, and you're like paying attention to it it's fine um I I mean I really my favorite part has to be these doors they're just so fun and they, I mean they look heavy it looks like a heavy-duty vehicle it looks like something I'd see some swamp members pulling up in and we got another door on the side. That's just really fun. Um, and you see on the end, you, know, you can see it through the front. Right there. It's pretty fun. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit awkward to see the figures in there. Like, you have to raise their arms up next to their head, and then you have to sit them in where those studs are on the side of like whatever stud on their legs. So if I'm gonna sit him down, let me take a weapon out of his hand. I have to sit him down. I have to put his left leg, oh boy, on there and raise his arm up if I wanna sit a second figure in there. Uh, you don't have to take the helmets off or anything. You don't have to take the vests off, which I think is really nice. Um, and so, that was my review on the Battle Brick Customs MRAP. Uh, drop a like, subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this, and then go follow my good friend over on YouTube, Serpentanian1939. Um, I think he's going to be doing a review on his uh, custom, or not his custom, but his Battle Brick Customs Panzer, um, and maybe some of his Opal Blitz that he built over the weekend, I think. Uh... But again, uh, subscribe, notifications on, drop a like, and share the channel to your friends if you think this was a fun, fair review.